What's going on everyone? In this video, I'll be sharing exactly how to ace the March SAT and get as close to a 1600, if not 1600 as possible. So before I get into exactly how to ace the March SAT, let's talk about the March SAT in general. One of the first main key points about it is the fact that it is the first SAT in 2022. So every year the SAT changes a little bit in terms of the content. Like the content is like overall similar, but the problems that you will face, the wording might be a little different. But historically, the March SAT has been proven to be one of the easier SAT exams. The curve is much nicer. And now what I mean by this is, for example, let's say you get uh, three questions wrong on the SAT math section. On a nice SAT with a nice curve, that can still be a 780, which is a pretty high score, even though you got three questions wrong. But on a harsher SAT, let's say the June SAT or the August SAT, three questions wrong can make you get a 710. Because you're like, dang, like if I get six questions wrong, I'm on like a... 680 and it's, it doesn't seem fair so that's why you really want to maximize your opportunity with this march sat but like this is the sat where you can really get a high score on in fact i got my 1540 on the march sat so how exactly do we prepare for this march sat and improve our st math score as best as possible now i'll talk about sat reading later in the video so in honor of acing the sat math section Let's talk about how exactly you can basically learn every single thing you need to know about the ST math section, all the tips, tricks, strategies, and patterns you need to learn within like a day. And that is through my ST math crash course, link in the description below. This course offers all the tips and tricks that you need to know to ace the ST math section. You can watch it multiple times, it's six hours long until you know absolutely everything you need to know. Plus, if you get it, and you also get my ST math notes for free. And trust me, with this, you can easily get a perfect ST math score. Yes, a perfect. So now that you have ST math score maximized, right? You have a course that you can use. You have notes that you can use for free as well. You just grasp all the information you can and suck it up in your brain and then keep practicing until you're able to get that 800. But now with ST reading, things get a little tricky. You see, ST reading is a very hard section to prepare for unless you're a reading genius because it's sometimes hard to understand what is the author trying to say what is the tone of the author what is the main idea of this paragraph because with the reading section there's no one definite answer it's like this is a good answer this is a better answer so in your eyes if you see if you think c is better than b but at naturality b is better than c you're gonna get the question wrong and that's why sc math section is just more preferred because the ST math section is clear cut, right? So you get right or wrong. Reading section is a little blurry. That also is why you want to maximize the ST math score as much as you can because it is the section that you can actually get an 800 on, like realistically. The reading section is super hard to get an 800 on. In fact, for me personally, I remember this, the first time I took the reading SAT, I got a 730. The second time I got a 690. So I was never a consistent 700 score on the ST reading section. But now, how exactly can you prepare for the ST reading section? And this is where I talk about using Khan Academy. Now, Khan Academy in the past, I would always talk about using that for ST reading and ST math. But since then, College Board creators uh, and like some uh, associates have left Khan Academy. So now Khan Academy makes its own ST math problems and they're kind of like not the best. They're kind of like not representative of the actual SAT. They're significantly, significantly harder. A lot, it really demotivates a lot of students and just makes them not want to keep preparing because the problems are so much harder than the actual problems you get on the ST math section. So that's why I really don't recommend Khan Academy as much for the ST math section. That's also why I created you know, an ST math course because now that Khan Academy is toast for that, my course is better. But I have to give credit where credit is due and that's the fact that Khan Academy is the best resource you can use for ST reading. They have beginner examples, harder examples of Sal Khan, the genius, you know, deciphering passages, learning, you know, teaching you all how to think. That way you can learn exactly how to approach every single ST reading passage and question. And you have to watch all the beginner and harder example videos on ST reading, you know, Khan Academy, as well as do all the grammar questions and the multiple passage questions that they also offer. And constantly practicing these ST reading questions, you know, through all of the argumentative passage, the informative passage, all of that, as well as ST writing section, will automatically help you boost your score at least by 150 points if you do ST reading practice almost every day or every other day on Khan Academy. So now that you have maximized your ST math score, you have maximized your ST reading score, how can you maximize your score in general, right? How can you how can you really brush up everything and make everything come in full circle? That is where I come into my third tip, and that is to spam practice tests. Like you want to spam, spam, spam. You want to be doing practice tests every single day. Not really every single day, more like every single week. Because practice tests are, yes, they're kind of long, first of all, but they also are a real representation of what you're going to face when the ST exam comes. Because 
Yes, you can do all the Khan Academy problems that you want. Yes, you can do the problems with my SD math course, which are representative of the actual SAT, but nothing beats taking an actual SAT exam that's been released by College Board, or that maybe you even got from a friend, because a lot of times you'll see that there has been like a 2021 released SAT exam on like Reddit or other threads that you can literally you know, access and take yourself. Because these tests, the more recent the test is, the more representative it is of the actual SAT you're going to face when it comes to SAT March. Like, yeah, you can learn about how to read SAT reading passages, but if you can't actually apply that to the real exam or practice exam, you're basically a dud. Like, it's not gonna help you. So you really need to learn how to apply what you learn into the course and through Khan Academy on an actual exam. And that is why I want you to take span practice tests, take one every single week, because plus that way you can also see what you need to improve on. Right. Let's say you are, you think you're good in ST math, and you, you know you think you're good at ST reading, and then we actually take the practice test. You are good at ST math, but in ST reading you're kind of weak, and you see where you're weak at. Maybe you're weak in arguments and passages. Then you can really spend maybe the next couple of days focusing on ST reading argument passages, so that way you no longer are bad in them, and then you can actually get like a high ST reading score. Because if you can get an ST reading score that's pretty high and your ST math score will or should be high, granted you have my notes in my course, then you will probably be looking at a 1500 plus. And with 1500 plus, you can get to any college you want. And the last reason you should take ST practice tests is because they give you exposure to real SAT language. Now, SAT language is a little different. Yes, it's English, but the way the SAT words question, the way it frames it, they have their own unique way of trying to trip up students and make students think critically, right? So the only way you can really expose yourself to you know, this SAT language is by actually doing practice tests that has SAT language in them because these practices have been administered to actual students on actual SAT test dates. So keep practicing those, exa those exams, learn the SAT language, learn the way they frame questions, and that way you will automatically ensure your SAT success. So if you really enjoy these tips, be sure to comment down below which tip was your favorite and I'll pin the tip that is like the most favorited tip across the comment section. And if you really want to improve your SD math score, be sure to check out my SD math course. The link description below. If you use the code first 100, you will be getting a 25% discount. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Peace.